Who is Kia? Um, she is a 22-year-old personal finance guru and public speaker. What's the last thing you did before you went to bed last night? Last thing I did was watch Married to Medicine. What's the first thing you did when you woke up this morning? I checked my phone and watched Married to Medicine. <laughs> What's the last thing you Googled? Last thing I Googled was how to get here. Makes sense. What song have you got on repeat right now? On repeat, um, The Woo by Pop Smoke. All big right. track, big track. Who's the first person that comes to mind when I say the word inspirational? Has to be my dad, 100%. Great answer. What did you want to be when you were growing up? What did I want to be? I wanted to be a marine biologist. Whoa, interesting. Mm. Where's one place in the world that you would love to visit? One place in the world, probably Brazil. I love Brazil. Okay. What's your favorite childhood movie when you were growing up? Um, probably House of Musical. What's one thing people would find really surprising about you? Oh, what was surprising about me? Oh, I don't know. Um, I really like comedy. I really like watching stand-up comedy. Okay, any favorites? Um, Russell Howard. No, he's my favorite, yeah, love Russell Howard. <laughs> What's one word your close friends would use to describe you? Um, spontaneous. Okay, lockdown's been crazy, but what's one positive thing you've taken from it? That I need to enforce more self-care. Love that answer. What's the best piece of financial advice you've ever received? To start saving regardless of how much you can save. What's the worst piece of financial advice you've ever received? To start forex trading. <laughs> What's the best investment you've made this year? Probably, probably my podcast equipment. Okay, great podcast by the way. Thank you. What's one product or service that you spend way too much money on? Oh, oh, what is it? Probably ordering out. It's really bad, I know. Delivery, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, pennies to pound is an incredible platform. Thank you. What's the th one thing that made you want to start it? One thing that made me want to start here was just that there wasn't enough financial education for young people in general, um, especially for the black community. So I really wanted to be that platform, that voice for black people. Okay, love that answer. What's the first thing anyone should do before starting a podcast? Research and know your niche and know what you want to do a podcast on. Okay, what's one financial mistake that everyone needs to stop making? Um, living beyond their means. All right, what three money apps should everyone have on their phone? Um, Quidco for cashback, Emma for budgeting, and Airtime for cashback to get money off of phone contracts. Okay, got none of those apps, but I'm gonna check them out. Get them. What's your top tip for trying to save for a house? Ooh, you're gonna have to create a budget and kind of cut back on some of the luxuries you're used to, unfortunately. Okay, what's your proudest achievement today? Oh, my proudest achievement? Probably winning an award for my podcast. Congrats on that. Thank you. All right, so what's the one thing you would change about the school curriculum? I would definitely add financial literacy onto the curriculum. Okay, what's one finance myth that everyone needs to stop falling for? That pensions are only for the old. I'm thinking about pensions only for the old. Retirement, you think about it now while you're young. Did you hear that, people? Listen to that right there. What's one financial lesson you'll pass on to your kids? Not to live off credit. Okay, what's the first thing you would do if someone gave you a million pounds? I'm buying a house. Straight away, yeah. Straight away. Love it. Whereabouts? Oh, whereabouts? I've been living in central London. I can afford to now. I'm a millionaire. Love it. Okay, now some this or that questions. Okay. Property or stocks? Property. Pensions or ISAs? Pensions. Books or podcasts? Oh, books. Twitter or Instagram? Twitter. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Okay, last couple of questions now. Okay. If you ruled the world, what's the first thing you would change? Poverty. Okay, last question right here. What do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered for changing the way that we think about our finances and opening up the conversation about talking about finances. I'm gonna finish it right there.